Welcome back to Light on Yoga by BKS Iyengar. We're on pose 17, Utkatasana, which is chair pose. Only two stars out of 60 in difficulty. Utkata means powerful, fierce, uneven. This asana is like sitting on an imaginary chair. Pretty straightforward. That's the picture. You'll notice that his shoulders are way up back by his ears. Something I often see in classes is that people have their arms kind of forward like this, or they're kind of hunched in their back especially if you have really strong or sore, tight shoulders, but you really want to get your arms up and back if you can. So let's see what he has to say about that. Stand in Tadasana, stretch the arms straight over the head and join the palms. Exhale, bend the knees and lower the trunk till the thighs are parallel to the floor. Do not stoop forward, but keep the chest as far back as possible and breathe normally. Something that often you'll hear yoga teachers say is to pull your knees back until you can look down and see your toes. But here his knees are very far in front of his toes, so I am going to take that to mean that Iyengar doesn't think that that's important, that your knees can come very far forward. They don't have to pull back. So he says, stay in the pose for a few seconds, 30 being sufficient. It is difficult to balance in this pose. Inhale, straighten the legs, lower the arms, come back to Tadasana, and relax. Effects. This pose removes stiffness in the shoulders and corrects any minor deformities in the legs. The ankles become strong and the leg muscles develop evenly. The diaphragm is lifted up and this gives a gentle massage to the heart. Any doctors out there want to comment on that? <laughs> I do not know enough about internal medicine <laughs> or whatever uh, area that would be to comment on that. The abdominal organs in the back are toned and the chest is developed by being fully expanded. It is a beneficial pose for horsemen. Is that people who ride horses? I don't know, but I will say that one of the biggest reasons that old people, older people need to be moved into care homes is that they cannot get up and down from sitting. So in my opinion, this is a really important one to practice because if you can get up and down like into an imaginary chair, including as you age, that will actually really extend your own independence and um, mobility and just, yeah, your independence as you age. So. For me, that's a really good reason to practice chair pose very often, even though it's not very fun to practice. No one really likes to just sit in an imaginary chair. It takes up a lot of energy and it's just not very comfortable. Let's try it. So starting in Tadasana, I'm gonna go sideways, I think, so I can see my legs here. So feet together. Inhale, arms up overhead, palms touch. And then exhale, bend your knees until your thighs are parallel to the floor. So this is where it becomes hard to pull your chest up and to keep your shoulders back and your arms by your ears. And you know, my legs already don't wanna sit there too long. <laughs> so like I said, I suppose according to Iyengar, it's fine if your knees come forward. I can kind of just barely see my toes still in front of my uh, knees here. But yeah, I don't really feel like staying here for 30 seconds. <laughs> You can maybe just try it out and practice for a little bit longer every day or set a little timer and see if you can do 30 seconds every day. But he says 30 seconds is sufficient. So I think that that means, you know, 30 seconds maybe for the max. And if you want to do more for extra credit, good for you. But I think 30 seconds is plenty. Maybe 10 seconds is fine. <laughs> so try it out. Let me know what you think. Of course, from there, you can also do all of your variations, twisting and all that kind of stuff. And also if it hurts in any way, to do it with your feet together or your arms all the way up and back, just start with a little bit less. So maybe start with your feet about hips width distance. Maybe don't bend your knees quite so deep. Maybe reach your arms forward until you have more mobility each day to bring your arms up overhead. So whatever it looks like for you and however it feels in your body is fine. And just, you know, take it one day at a time. Practice it every day until you get to where you wanna be. And that's kind of the secret to all of these <laughs> poses. And anyways, if you like this video, give it a th thumbs up and we will be back tomorrow with a new pose. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you later.